If these come up missing, it was me. The wardrobe on this show is going crazy. Fashion is such an important part of the culture. You know, who would we be to not really highlight that component through our show? And it's showcasing all of our styles individually as people, but also as characters and also as a community. And that's super exciting to see. The cast is so fresh, you know what I mean? We've got the best looking cast too. Their clothes are a huge part of their story and what we want to say ultimately through each character. You know, Jabari's a dude from Philly. You know what I mean? You can't walk around super flashy in West Philly. That's not gonna happen, so that's reflected. And we see a stylistic shift as he moves to Bel Air, and all of a sudden he's wearing clothes that are more saturated tonally with their colors. No fit is complete if you ain't rocking some heat on your feet. Today I'm wearing a Ted Baker suit uh, with a nice sleek black tie, and then I got the Jordan 1s on. Will, when he was rocking the Jordans on camera in front of the whole nation, you know what I mean? That was huge for the sneaker community. For me, to fill those shoes, that's an honor of mine. One of my favorite shoes that I've worn so far on the show has probably been the Lightning Force. I wear the Lightning Force in episode two in the scene where I am recently got my swagger back and I'm walking to school and I'm feeling good. My grails. Ooh, Carlton's fashion sense, he's trendy. He's a trendy and expensive dude. His fashion is his armor. You know, a lot of matching sets, a lot of high-end designer, a lot of stuff that, that's loud. Let's say CB. Kim's got favorite. Carlton Banks, baby. We rich. In the pilot, Will is wearing one of Carlton's old suits. You know, I think that's, that's one of the first examples you see of Will coming into this world, sort of taking something of Carlton's and then making it his own. But I think it sets up this really, really interesting sort of bullfighting match between them. And you gonna ask me how I've been, or? No, oh, you gonna tell me why you wearing my clothes? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, Hillary set me up. Something about a failed growth spurt. Will and Carlton, diametrically opposed. They both love sneakers, but they love different types of sneakers. Carlton's approach to sneakers is the more high-end. Oh, he's in the Balenciagas, the one that looks like socks. I think that's such a really subtle and interesting way to show, again, these are two people who are black. They both love sneakers, and neither approach is wrong. Their approach is just different. I think the best dressed cast member is Coco. 100%. She got that drip. I feel like even the OG Hillary, whenever she stepped out, it was a moment. It's so needed to see like black women and being sexy and like being classy, being professional, all those things in one. I would say new Hillary style is modern as well as really girly chic, like really pink, really like pastel, but adult, you know what I'm saying? Mature. This is a custom dress. The designer, she designed this dress in a day. Had me try it on, they altered it, and then I wore it the next day. Basically, two day turnaround. So my favorite look is definitely this blue and white girly two-piece set from Balmain. I feel like it just was perfect, like perfect for the scene, perfect for Hillary. It's very modern by giving like the, the two-piece like set type of look, but also like throwing it back to like a clueless, school girly type vibe that I just felt like was really perfect. And the details were amazing, like super blinged out with like pearls and diamonds and ice. It was just, ooh. And then I had this blue diamond necklace, ooh. It was just chef's kiss. I just love Ashley's style, how she plays around with a bunch of stuff. She puts pieces together and she wears a lot of boots. I love boots personally. And the boots that Ashley wears, and make her taller. <laughs> just all the colors and the pieces being together just really show different sides of her personality. Phil doesn't just wear something for the sake of wearing it. It's for a reason and it, it makes a statement and it complements him. And I could definitely see a, a Philip Banks collection of suits. <laughs> it's so awkward. Dude. All those guns, huh? See, this is when I get it's in here. Well, well Look at this demonstration. And then second arm. Dang. Come on, Phil. All right, new on the I like to say, um, Viv starts off as Michelle Obama and she blossoms maybe into like an Alicia Keys. Like, who should she be in this world of Bel Air? Who should she be if her husband's running for office? We change who we are for the role that we're trying to take on in life. So she's been trying to fit into this one role. Like, she's the queen of all aunties. Every detail that you see within a frame is something that should be additive to the story. 
So when you see somebody in a certain pattern or a certain color, like how can that inform character? How can that help inform story or the emotional arc of that character? So I hope people can feel that and, and feel very specific carved out identities that are told through the wardrobe.